here we go again. I've been watching the news, of course, and the media, and talking with my friends all day about this. Obviously, it's about the shooting um, that was in Connecticut today. People are saying the same thing. Kids, children, young children, seven years old, elementary school children. That's what makes this hit home, especially tragic. Everyone tries to protect children. I have a four-year-old nephew, and I'm sure many, many of my friends that are watching this right now also have kids. And this is a parent's worst nightmare. This is a parent's worst nightmare to lose their child. child. Now, a parent, I don't even know what it means to have what it's like to have a child. I'll, I'll, I'll never understand that bond until I get one, but that's devastating. That just has to be devastating. Even though the, pres the President of the United States is here, it's like nothing. Um, let's talk about the perpetrator for a second. Yes, I'm all, I, I am a big advocate for mental illness. Yes, I'm a big advocate, you know, for this. But in this case, you know, this is, this is a very sick, even when demented individual. There, you know, there's just, there's a certain point. To where there's just a certain point where you, you cannot empathize with people. He he can he he has no sense of empathy. He is gone. This guy was gone. There is no way that a sane person could do this, killing innocent children. I'm probably gonna say a lot, killing innocent children, because what did he what did they do that was so bad? That he had to go in there and basically destroy hundreds of people's lives. What I mean by that is that not just the children, but the family and friends around it. All affected. It's just going to stick with them for the rest of their lives. You know, I'm all for mental illness, but this is just this is ridiculous. There's nothing that anyone can say that that makes that can justify it to any degree or to, to vilify him to any degree. Yes, he may have been sick, but this is just too much. And he shot himself. But did he have to bring those kids with him? He was feeling if he was sick enough, he was sick enough to take himself, but did he have to take those kids with him? That's what pisses me off the most. That's, that's one of the things that pisses me off. Everyone on Facebook that I've seen has been pretty consistent. This is, you know, I don't, I don't see many idiots out there with any two with radical ideas. I've seen everyone on Facebook, everyone across this country is united for this, for this cause, for this tragedy. Everyone, whether you like him or you, whether you like him or you hate him, I think everyone's on the same page today. That this is a sad day for America. This is a sad day for our children. This is a sad day for our youth. We thought maybe when people were in, our children are in school, we think they're safe. We think they're in good hands. But you know what? Common sense is not common sense anymore. It's just not. This is so it's this is 2012 for you. 2013 for you. It's getting worse. I don't even know if I should get into gun control because that, that's a very touchy subject. I don't want to sit here and contradict myself, you know, make, give any fallacies or misstatements. So I'm not going to get too much into the gun control issue. Um, but I will say that, and to a certain extent, just make sure that the gun, the hands of guns don't get to the wrong people. I guess I am going to get into it now. I mean, I'm not all for. I mean, I'm not all. For, I'm, all, I'm not a big Second Amendment guy, but you know, we gotta be careful with the guns. Yes, the guy, his mother. That's I'm gonna remember that his mother. That was the mother. Those were his mother's guns, and somehow, you know, he got a hold. He killed her. 
to his own mother. That's another thing that's so sad about this. He killed his own mother. You really have to, that just shows how sick he was. To kill your own mother, matricide. Killing your own mother. That theory doesn't even come, that's, that, is, that is so forward to me. That doesn't, that, that doesn't even come into my mind as, as an idea or a concept at all. To kill your own mother. It's sick. So, all I can, I'm going to end this. I don't want to be out here all day. Pray for them. Keep, keep these guys, keep these children that died today and their families in your thoughts, in your prayers. Um, obviously, these, unfortunately, these, unfortunately, these kids have left this world today, but they are going to a better place for sure. Just keep the families that have been traumatized in your thoughts and in your prayers. I'll be praying for them tonight. Um, sad day. It's one of the saddest days. It's, it's up there with 9-11, if you be honest. We know it's, I know it's different, and it's not as... Not as ser unfortunately, it's not as serious, not as many lives are lost, not as traumatic. But... It, this it, this day it's up there is one of the, probably one of the more sad days of my life. I'm not trying to compare these two at all. I'm just saying it's it's up there. It's a sick one one of the, a sad day for me personally. So I appreciate you watching this video and just something to think about. Just something to think about as you're going to bed tonight and as you watch this the next day. Peace. Thank you.